Imagine, for a moment, stepping back in time to a world before words existed. A world where love, fear, and joy couldn't be expressed with language. Where communication relied entirely on gestures, expressions, and the occasional grunt. Sounds almost impossible, doesn't it? Yet this was once reality for our earliest ancestors. A time before language existed, before stories were told, and before we could articulate the dreams and fears that make us human. Today we embark on a fascinating journey into the depths of prehistory to explore a question that has puzzled scientists, philosophers, and historians for centuries. When did humans first start talking? How did we go from wordless creatures to masters of communication? And what does this incredible transformation tell us about who we are? Before humans could speak, they relied on nonverbal forms of communication. Gestures, facial expressions, and body language were their tools for conveying needs, emotions, and ideas. Imagine a hunter gesturing to signal danger or a parent comforting a child with a reassuring touch. While effective, these methods had limitations. But something changed. Early humans like Homo habilis and Neanderthals began experimenting with sounds, simple vocalizations like oohs and ahs. These weren't words as we know them, but were likely the beginnings of something far greater. Over tens of thousands of years, these sounds evolved into a more structured way of communicating. By the time Homo sapiens appeared roughly 300,000 years ago, these vocalizations had grown more sophisticated. Even Neanderthals, often misunderstood as primitive, may have had rudimentary language. Fossil evidence, such as the structure of the Neanderthal hyoid bone, suggests they were anatomically capable of speech. This raises an intriguing possibility. Were they already telling their own stories in their way? So what sparked the leap from basic sounds to complex language? One key factor was cooperation. Early humans needed to hunt, share resources, and warn each other of danger. Language likely began as a survival tool, a way to coordinate efforts and stay safe in a dangerous world. Over time, humans developed what we call proto-language, a system of sounds and symbols that could represent objects, actions, and ideas. Think of it as an early version of language, simple but effective. By around 100,000 years ago, this proto-language had transformed into something more structured, a precursor to the spoken languages we use today. Art also played a role. The intricate cave paintings at Lascaux, created over 17,000 years ago, tell us something profound about early humans. These weren't just drawings, they were expressions of abstract thought. The ability to depict animals, symbols, and scenes suggested that early humans could think about the world in complex, symbolic ways. This cognitive leap may have been a turning point for the rise of full-fledged language. So, what made this leap possible? The answer lies in the human brain. Around 100,000 years ago, Homo sapiens underwent what's known as the cognitive revolution. This was a profound shift in our brain's capabilities, allowing for advanced thinking, abstract reasoning, and the ability to create and understand complex ideas. Key areas of the brain, like Broca's area and Wernicke's area, became specialized for speech and language comprehension. These developments gave early humans the ability to form sentences, express abstract thoughts, and, most importantly, tell stories. Stories helped build social bonds, preserve knowledge, and share experiences across generations. There are many theories about how language first emerged. Did it appear suddenly due to a genetic mutation, or did it evolve gradually over thousands of years? One fascinating idea is the gesture theory, which suggests that language started with hand gestures before transitioning to spoken words. Imagine early humans using their hands to explain a hunt or describe a tool. Over time, sounds may have been added to enhance meaning. Another theory suggests that the need for storytelling drove the development of language. As humans began thinking about the past and future, they needed a way to share these abstract concepts, leading to the birth of language as we know it. 
Language wasn't just spoken, it eventually became written. Around 5,000 years ago, ancient civilizations like the Sumerians and Egyptians developed the first written languages, such as cuneiform and hieroglyphics. These written systems allowed humans to record history, create laws, and share stories across generations. It marked the beginning of the modern era of communication. Language is one of humanity's greatest achievements, a remarkable tool that has not only shaped our societies, cultures, and identities, but has also served as the bridge connecting us across time and space. From its humble beginnings as simple sounds and gestures to the thousands of intricate, diverse languages spoken today, the story of language is one of evolution, innovation, and the profound human need to communicate, express, and bond. It reflects our capacity to dream, collaborate, and build a shared reality, transcending generations and geographical boundaries. While we may never pinpoint the exact moment when humans first began to speak, what we do know is that language is at the heart of what makes us uniquely human. It's the medium through which we share our deepest dreams, fears, and triumphs, allowing us to forge connections and convey abstract ideas. Language isn't just a tool. It's the essence of how we understand the world around us and each other. It has shaped not only our past, but continues to define our present and inspire our future. If this journey into the origins of language has sparked your curiosity, we encourage you to like this video, share it with others who love exploring humanity's history, and leave a comment below. What are your thoughts on when and how humans first began to speak? Let's hear your theories and ideas. Don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating explorations into the milestones that have shaped our world. Together, let's keep uncovering the incredible stories that connect us all.